Okay, so here's the deal. For today's video, uh, Tony and I took a tour of Cabal Gallery with Josh Finley. Um, but I just started trying to edit the video and the sound quality is just frankly not very good. And um, Video Shop, Video Shop doesn't allow you to just cut stuff. So making edits is really hard and since we've, we got the video shoot tonight, we gotta go to rehearsal, we gotta put up posters all over the place. I'm not gonna cut or edit this thing. It I just, <laughs> I just slapped together a bunch of stuff. So for today's video, um, just, you know, take some time, sit down, listen to it, enjoy all the really smart and awesome stuff Josh Finley has to say, and enjoy some really amazing artwork. So uh, with that, here is episode 25 of the MF Rummage Sale. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the MF Rummage Sale episode 25. I think. I don't know. If I'm wrong, it'll say what it really is right here. I'm here with Tony Lee. We just picked him up from the airport. Hey, Tony. For a weekend of shows. And we're here with uh, Josh from Finley, the official artist of MF Ruckus, White Fudge, and pretty much every band in the city of Denver. And uh, we're here at the Cabal Art Gallery. There's not a sign above me. <laughs> so, we're at the Cabal Art Gallery where Josh and some of the finest artists in the city of Denver work. Yeah. Yeah. The Cabal Gallery. Josh is going to show us around. Come on in. Come on in. This is where the magic happens. Okay, take a moment and look at Big Jesse Frazier's work. He goes by Fame Worldwide. He did a whole installation. And it is large. So what, he just wheat pasted all this in? Yeah, he built a fake floor and built that wall and put it all together. Like he built this whole, so if someone buys this, they have to buy the whole wall with the lamps and everything, right? Absolutely. <laughs> That's insane. That's great. He's a wild one. So then we have, we have your Rearted series here. I bought this one. This one, see that little dot right there? That means I bought it. So this is the, the gal here with the little Necronomicon and the basket of guts. Uh, so what what kind of inspired you to do this series? Dude? Well, um, I had a friend have me paint on one. She had a thrift store piece and she was like, can you make this evil? I said, absolutely. So then fell in love with it and became obsessed with going to thrift stores and buying them and uh, fucking them up. You know? <laughs> So, I like the 3D piece here. You just get a statue from a thrift store. Yeah, she's reading the Necronomicon too. Yeah, little known fact. Little known fact. <laughs> the inscription in there uh, has a hidden message. It does. You have to come see it to read it. Yeah. Love your animals. Love your animals. So you, did, you did a lot of, um, you did a lot of trinket stuff too, right? Yeah. Just finding little things. After I got done with the painting thing, I started buying whatever I could. This one's pretty cool because it's a hide a key. Oh, so you can hide your keys so you can hide your keys. Yeah. Behind a, a, a painting that makes you want to throw up. Does yes. another one have a safe behind it that the keys go to? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Buy the whole collection. Figure out which one it is. So we got Satan Jesus here. So which did you get more in trouble for, the Satan Jesus or the or, Jesus? Or the Jesus? Definitely this one. Yeah? Because uh, it was on the poster for the show, for the June show, and uh, the people, they, they didn't like it. They, didn't, they were upset about everything. Yeah. Cool. Here we got Mars stuff. You were telling me earlier she did this. Like an hour? Yeah, or 10 seconds, something like that. She's a painting genius. Just bam, bam, done. It's amazing. And if you get up, come over here, Tony. Oh, look at these little kitties that she does. How cool is that? How cool is that? Somebody needs to feed these kitties. Yeah, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> so we have uh, Vincent Cheap, aka Vinny Fasano. A, 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 a.k.a. Vinderella of, of the ball, Princess Vinderella. So, okay, I'm not really clear on exactly how Vinny does this stuff. What is, 
he just he takes faces and paints over them, or what does he do here? Uh, that's something you'll have to talk to him about. Okay. I don't want to diverge anyone's thingy. Yeah, anyone's secret sauce. But this is this is Vinny's hand, his like signature hand. Vinny's hand is not that big. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Look at that guy. <laughs> you little son of a bitch. <laughs> Let me show you my favorite. My favorite. Is, oh, he's just, he sold the really, really vulgar one, but he, he did these ones that were, like that is an old man with really nice tits and a bunny hat on. And kind of a corpsey body. Another one over here. It's classic. It's like, it turns me on, but it's in a really scary, sad way. Well. Oh, and this is, this is a great addition. Check out, check out the names of the books. Let's see. Where's the, where is it? Oh yeah, <laughs> too tall for love. The Jesse Frazier story. <laughs> we is Ken, the story of Anglewood. <laughs> That's while we're, good. While we're in Anglewood. Yeah. Then we got um. This is Cody from Heretic Art. He yeah. does. He does. Uh, he also does blasphemous pieces. Yeah. Which are pretty cool. And what? Gur Gur does these kadamas. It's an ancient Japanese skill game. He's a celebrity in the world of painting kadamas. And then you ended up doing a kadama too. I did a kadama. I painted it at a white fudge show. Well, cop damn. What do we do? Here's another one of uh, another one of Gur's paintings up here. Yeah. Does Gur have anything else up right yeah, now? He's got he's over the here. Testing over here. On then gun, sure. gun over here. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like shooting something. And then this stuff over here. Oh, this is rad. Yeah. Sweet carved Johnny Cash. What does he carve? Do you know what he carves with? Uh, Can't give away the secrets, bro. I don't know. No. A Bowie knife. A Bowie knife. A spoon. A man's. A man's uh, sling bone. This is our uh, fire extinguisher. It's just been updated, so we're safe there. Yeah, the coach. Oh, yeah. Coach probably right. Oh yeah, and then we painted a mural. All you guys kicked in on. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So we got Finley, Mar, Chief, Gur, and then Jesse's wheat paste. Jesse's wheat paste. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. See, you have to be 11 and a half feet tall to do this wheat paste thing yeah. that he did on everything. He didn't even use a ladder. He didn't even use a ladder. Dude, I like want to do my room like this. Yeah. You know, I know a guy who does stuff just like this. Do you? Yeah. Hey. Oh, it's not like this, it's exactly this. I got a good cartoon helmet guy. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that got the most attention from this whole exhibit was the religious pieces that you did. Yes. And you had a lot of people that did not care for They were what, sad. They were sad. So what well tell us about the uh, the the people who asked how long you were gonna be doing it. Oh uh, yeah, people some of the people that were upset about the Jesus stuff in particular asked how long I would be doing it. And I said, until I get a cease and desist from Jesus, I'm going to do it. When do you expect that? Uh, I don't know. When's the second coming? I don't know. I can usually only do it once a day. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless, like, I've been taking a lot of vitamin E. Mm. Oh, but seriously, though, like, what, like, where do you sit on on that entire issue of, well, of this, like, you know, the sanctity of what, of thrift store paintings with Jesus on. Well, first of all, it appears that a lot of people throw out their Jesus pictures, so there was a lot to choose from. Right. There's been hundreds of them in thrift stores. My take on it is how certain groups and people have taken this pure, nice thing, like Jesus' word, and manipulated it and massacred it into their own, you know, hateful motion or, you know, their their mission statement is, you know, 
God hates fags, or fuck you, I'll kill you if you don't like, blah, 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 you know? Right. So, that's what they're, it's just a visual take on how screwed up his word has gotten to feed people's particular platforms for their hatred. You have to, like, push whatever agenda that they have. Absolutely. And wind up. So, one of the things that I saw on, um, when you posted uh, the Jesus that we yeah. were talking about, yeah. what, uh, there was one guy who started a big argument uh, who was talking about, you know, why don't you do this to pictures of Muhammad, and, and he wouldn't have the balls to do it as a picture of Muhammad. Well, it's very simple. I was raised Mennonite, not Muslim. Right. So I was raised with Jesus in the blood, you know? So I can reflect on that. I wasn't raised Muslim, and I could give a shit less about not about what they do, it's just it doesn't pertain to my life. It doesn't pertain to your experience. Yeah, so I'm gonna paint about things that I know and have interest in. Right. So, and, and I have the right to do it because I, I had to be Joseph in every Christmas church pageant since the time I was a kid, so I put my time in. You pick your dudes, stay my dudes. So, um, so you did this for us. This shirt, while back, we do all of our posters for the most part. Yeah. Um, and we decided to make this originally was the banner that was printed for our 2013 uh, US tour. And we decided to make it into a t shirt because it's probably our favorite design that we've ever done. Um, it originally was like something like like 14 colors or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like it was a lot more, a lot more colors, but it didn't translate to printing. So we broke it down to two or three, two colors on this. Sorry, but uh, I like it. but you and I, there's there's an interesting story behind this design too. Yes. Which was, I was looking at some artwork here, and there was there was a landscape, and I think it looked like it looked similar to some of the landscapes from like Ralph Bakshi animations and stuff like that. Like you would see in the background with like. Lord of the Rings, or Wizards, or Fire and Ice, or something like that, and I was really impressed with it. So I commented on it on Facebook saying, God damn, and immediately got attacked by a fan of yours who was kind of a religious nut. Yeah. And I lost my shit a little bit and got into a little bit of a battle with this guy over the use of language and, and um, his uh, zealotry, or at least my perceived, you know, my, my idea that he was being zealot, zealotrous, zealectric, yeah, that he was being kind of over the top. And so you were doing the tour poster for us, and then you showed up with this, yeah, which was something perfectly, elegantly, wonderfully, sexily, erotically. Blasphemous and evil and cool and uh, and yeah, it's one of the last items that we're going to be able to do on the on the internet sale. But it's probably this is probably one of my favorite shirts that we have. This is probably actually the favorite shirt that I have. Once. So anything you care to uh, elaborate on? Um yeah, well I you gave me one of those and the other night I woke up and I I blew my nose on. <laughs> there was the only thing that was close, you know? but that's what washing's for. And these are high quality, washable garments. They yeah. are. Great See, garments. this one actually, I woke up this morning and blew my load ah. on this one, and you can't even see it. Uh, this, of course, was brought to you by Shout Laundry Detergent, uh, the letter Jesus, and uh, what else? Oh, and Cabal Gallery. Yeah. So pick this up. It's on our website, www.mfruckus.com slash store. We're getting ready to go over and do our video shoot at Three Kings tonight. We'd love to see you all there. Josh is going to be there hanging out. And uh, make sure to come by Cabal Gallery and check out some of his badass stuff and some of his friends' badass stuff and even buy some. So until tomorrow, thank you very much. Hey. Thanks, Josh Finley. Thank you. Okay, Lee. Oh. <laughs>